Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today I have a very different type of video, as we are going to do a short review on some of the Porsche content within the new Gran Turismo 7 for the PlayStation 5. The game was recently released and what an incredible level of graphics and details are built into this racing game. Let's start with reviewing some of the Porsche vehicles that are for sale within the game. The first one is the 997 Generation GT3 being followed up by the 996 Generation 911 GT3. After these two GT3s we have the electric Porsche Taycan Turbo S with over 750 horsepower. And we have the 991.1 911 GT3 RS model year 2016 in the introduction color lava orange. Being followed up by the first race car, the Cayman GT4 Club Sport model year 2016. So the 981 generation of the Cayman GT4. Then the first full-blown race car, the 911 RSR 2017, beautiful color scheme of course. Then we have that 917 Living Legend, now this is a concept vehicle, but so cool that Porsche, together with Gran Turismo, brought it into the game of course. Then we have another Porsche concept vehicle, the road car Vision Gran Turismo. Then the iconic Porsche Carrera GT, model year 2004 in the US, 2004 and 2005 for their model years. And of course the 919 Hybrid, one of the most successful race cars in recent history, especially in the 24 hours of Le Mans. So this is the lineup within this section of the game. And what's also very cool is the individual color selection. So we're back on the 997 GT3. You can see all the original Porsche colors, Meteor Grey, Basalt Black, the Standard Black, Aqua Blue. These are the factory colors from back then available on the 997 Generation 2 GT3. Same for the 996, again you can see the specific names of the color so cool that uh, Gran Turismo was able to bring that within the game Taycan Turbo S again the 911 GT3 RS 991 generation also for the race cars you can see different colors here this is more the traditional color that we've been used in the WEC for example in Europe such a beautiful car and you can see here on the back this is the 2017 with the exhaust tips coming out of the back of the vehicle later on on the updated version of the RSR 991 a Porsche and a side exhaust system. Another feature within the game is the ability to do um, specific photo sessions. So we're back in the main menu here. You can see the beautiful background of this 996 GT3 coming by in slow motion. The graphics again within the game are just astonishing. Transitioning here into another slow motion, in this case the Carrera GT coming by. I think this is GT Silver specifically being used in this uh, piece of video or game. It's just fantastic. So let's go to related scenes. Uh, these are specific backgrounds that you can use within the uh, photo section of the Gran Turismo 7 game. You can also see a little bit of uh, background story there on the different locations. Here's the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. Again, the Porsche Museum from different angles. And then in the last one here, we have the Porsche Museum also on the inside. So when we select this specific background, you get into this section here for the actual photos to be taken. Now I can select one of the Porsches that I own currently in the digital garage within the game. The 911 GT1 Strassen version, 1997. I did some light modifications on this car, finished in maritime blue paint to sample. It's also there within the game, you have the freedom to change, for example, the exterior colors to original Porsche colors, or do your own design. Also the wheel design, uh, sorry, the wheel color I changed in the game. So to this gloss black, and look how amazing the graphics are. So currently lined up here within the Porsche Museum. You can change the position there. I'm not a big um, guy within photography, so my knowledge level there is more limited. You can see how much features are there built in within the game for the people that are really into uh, photography and the ability to uh, upload your own Porsche vehicle within that specific feature of the game. Looking fantastic. So rendering. And within a few seconds here we have the final result. Again, this is not, not an edited photo really. They look incredible. The light, how it shines on the bodywork. Let's save this specific photo. So again, the 911 GT1 Strassen version, very limited road car, uh, based of course of the race car for homologation purposes to compete in the 24 hours of Le Mans. And also back then into the um, another racing series, which I forgot the name of. Uh, again, so, some of very iconic uh, race cars back in the day. So let's do another one here uh, again within the Porsche Museum again focus on the light uh, Let's in this case select my 997 GT3 Again, I did some modifications on the uh, outside of the vehicle I also did the Porsche letters on the top of the rear wing trying to be as uh, original as possible to the original uh, design of the 911 GT3 997 generation 
again I changed it to a specific paint to sample color so if you guys know the color please comment down below see if you know which one this is again rendering look at the light how it shines and again this is a game guys how incredible the graphics are and of course this is not the racing section of the game but just to show you how much of the Porsche passion translates into a game for the new PlayStation 5 uh, Gran Turismo 7 again let's do uh, one more let's do outside here at the Porsche Museum and let's do the uh, last Porsche within my garage which is this 964 Carrera RS and again please guess the exterior color you guys as uh, Porsche enthusiasts probably know which one this is a pretty iconic exterior color for especially the 964 Carrera RS Again, you can choose how you want to line up, line the vehicle up within the picture. And again, of course, everybody will have their own preferences. But again, look at the graphics, how incredible. And again, you can see this is a, a background uh, later part of the day as the sun goes down. Again, st still lining up here. Let's put it next to the dealership here, Porsche's two guards. And again, all these features are built in into the game you can also do different locations around the world when it comes to specific cities or countries it's really cool how again as automotive enthusiasts especially within the porsche section this has all been built into the game i want to thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, quick review again this is not the racing section of the new gran turismo 7 but just to share some of the porsche passion that was built into the new gran turismo 7 Another great feature built into the Gran Turismo 7 game is to learn about the history of the brand. Of course, we're focusing on Porsche. Here we can see the early days in the 1930s as we continue here throughout time to some of the more recognizable vehicles of the early days, especially here the 1948 Gamund 356. Now you can click on these specific date lines, learn about the specific car or picture that is being shown within the game. And then here back to the main screen. So thanks so much once again for watching. Amazing graphics in the game. Hope you guys enjoy for the people that have already downloaded or purchased the game. Uh, keep sharing the Porsche passion. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.